Okay, I'm using MacBook Air for this tutorial. We follow the link to this GitHub repo to clone. Currently, I'm in the, my documents directory, so navigate to your favorite directory and clone the repo there. After you're done, CD that is enter into the cloned repo and activate the Python environment there. Okay, after creating the Python virtual environment, we need to activate the virtual environment. It's worth noting that there are different approaches for different operating systems. So it asks ChatGPT on Guidance on how to activate a Python virtual environment for your operating system. After activating, the, after activating the virtual environment, pip install to install the requirement, which are the modules for the program. Once this installation process is done, we go ahead and run the application. For MacBook, we are using Execution Provider Corem for your device located in the readme. Press Enter and wait for the app to load. Once the app has successfully loaded, this is the display the GUI for the application. Next, we locate the Google Colab notebook and upload it to the Google Colab. By then your Google Colab should be open. Open file and drag and upload it to the Google Colab. Wait for it to be loaded successfully. Follow the, the setup on the screen. Make sure you are on Google Colab Pro for this to work successfully. Play the first cell and the second cell. Please install the dependencies for each project. Then the deep fix cell. Play the deep fix cell. The FRP cell and the ng rock cell are optional. We're going to be using ng rock cell for this port forwarding process. Both FRP and ng rock are for port forwarding. So we are showing ng rock. The create model folder or we'll play the cell also contain two cells so we'll play it or wait approved we're going to include ignore the debunking cell the create global server cell will run it also for live streaming purpose we'll be running the live stream Cell. But let's wait for all the cells to be complete. Before I forget the NG Rock says you will need an authentication key for your NG Rock. This is your API key. So you should visit NG Rock for your API key. As I read, I'll link the link in the description and run the live stream CSS. So we are going to be running a live stream. After that, we we'll ignore the the image swap on the FRP tunnel cell because we are using ng rock. So run the ng rock tunnel cell. After installing your API key, we we'll run the cell. At the end of this process. We'll be given three TCP URL connection, which we will impute into our application. Once this is done, open your application. Copy the output, the URL, the TCP link with the tag output. You copy it. Insert it into the in test bus before that enable remote processor. 
then the TCP with input is added to the test board now out is the TCP link with input 2 and tag it to the second test bus with label out s select the face for the face swap we'll be using android tits and click on life for life for life with face swap wait if everything goes as then you see sending chunk which means the process was successful then we we'll wait for everything to run successfully there's a debugging period of 300 frames so just wait for the process to run oh wait 